Hello, hello, this is Fear Dragon coming at you with another StarCraft 2 netcast. Today we have a Protoss versus Protoss between Grubby and Stardust. This is game number four. If you haven't seen game number one, game number two, or game number three, please go ahead and click on the annotation below. It'll take you to those videos. But if you're still around, I'm going to assume you have. We're going to go ahead and jump in and introduce these players from IEM Singapore, round of 16. Spawn down here in the bottom left-hand corner of Entomb Valley, we have the red Protoss player representing Team Light Esports. It is going to be Light Esports' Stardust, and he is currently down one game in this best of five series. He's currently down one to two, so he has to win two games in a row if he wants any chance of being able to come back against his opponent. Spawning up here in the top right-hand corner of Entomb Valley is the blue Protoss player representing no team other than his own. It is going to be Grubby's Grubby, and he is the uh, foreigner Protoss player who does not have a pylon anywhere in his main base. That's right, folks. Grubby currently up two games to one against his opponent. Only needs to win one more game. Is cheesing a little bit in that last potential game. As, uh, I mean, this is just a fantastic way. You have a game lead. Why not go for the risk? I mean, <laughs> it's an in-base proxy gateway to gate. How often do you see this at a pro level? You don't see it very often. So, I mean, Stardust just could be completely caught off guard by this. Especially considering how long the distances are in a cross-map spawn that is forced on this map. I mean, this is going to be so difficult. And look at this. Stardust. Going for that greedy style of Protoss play where he doesn't scout until he throws down the cybernetic score. This is going to be so deadly. I mean, he has zero vision of everything that's going on for Grubby. And Grubby does have a couple of probes coming up. But now, the Zealot production has begun. The second gateway is finishing up. And Stardust is going to be so hard pressed to actually defend against this. This is going to be a miracle if Stardust can defend against this without reacting. I mean, we see him going for two Gas Geysers! Oh, he went for the second Gas Geyser early on. That's going to be another 75 minerals delaying anything else. That's going to delay his potential to get up a second gateway. He's going for the Severn X4. And even still, he does not know what the heck is going on. His probe is going to be able to come in, but look at this. It's already been revealed. The two Zealots are out. They're working on Stardust's mineral line. And of course, this probe from Stardust is going to make his way into the main base and be like, Oh yeah, I see it now. Thanks, probe. You've done a great job scouting there, probe. But in the meanwhile, we see that Grubby is focusing down that pylon. If Stardust has to get up another pylon. He needs to be able to keep that gateway powered as he's just going to instantly lose this game. Now we end up seeing another Zealot popping out for Stardust. The probe's trying to work its way on that Zealot. Do manage to bring it down to the orange health but he's losing quite a few of those probes now a stalker gets out for stardust and that could actually be his big saving grace right now we do end up seeing that probe actually going ahead and retreating from stardust gonna just try and get as much firepower as he can and now we end up seeing stardust just retreating with all of his probes he's gonna try and micro his little heart out with that stalker but if he can manage to get out this stalker over here he might actually be able to be in a decent position he might be able to take out all these zealots from team grubby but it looks like no the pylon gets killed off before the Stalker makes its way out, and now the Stalker is going to be the only force that Stardust actually has, and we can end up seeing that it looks like a Stardust is going to try and go for the counterattack with probes. So look at this. Oh my god, Grubby, you were so smart. Going for the Forge, a pylon wall off. There is going to be no chance of those probes actually making in there in any reasonable amount of time. And I mean, at that point, Grubby's actually going to have more probes than Stardust, and Stardust realizes that he's going to go ahead and retreat. The Stalker is going to continue to micro itself out, just try and get some hope of actually saving himself in this game. But I mean, he doesn't even have enough money to build an assimilator. He can't even go for that base trade situation. And there we see the GG well played. Good luck in the rest of the tournament as Grubby advances on to the next round, the round of eight at IEM Singapore with a 3-1 victory over his Korean Protoss opponent, Stardust Light. So very well played by both these players, but Grubby throwing in that a very unexpected cheese in that last game. And, oh man, it just worked out beautifully for him. So very well played, a very good metagaming and just knowing your opponent, knowing that your opponent has not been scouting up until like that's time, around the time that the Cybernetics Core was being thrown down. And Grubby was able to clean up the series, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoy my commentary in any capacity whatsoever, in which case, if you do, please go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. Well, like the video and subscribe to my channel. That'd be super awesome. If you can find a way to like my channel, I mean, I'd totally endorse that as well. 
But with that being said, uh, you can please also follow me on twitch.tv slash feardragon64, twitter.com slash feardragon64, and send any replays you want casted, either your own or just pro-level games that you thought were really cool, over to feardragon64 at gmail.com. With that being said, guys, I don't want to keep you here too long, so thank you again for tuning in, and I will see you guys next time.